All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to bring you an extremely important beaching update with this most recent flash crash that we've had. Uh, I thought it necessary to bring in a technical analysis expert straight from France to help break down what's going on with VeChain. His name is Messin. What's up, man? Wow, you gotta keep doing this every time, man. I love these uh, <laughs> intros for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but no, obviously, with everything that's going on right now, uh, VeChain is one of the, I would say, top uh, three coins right now, three crypto cryptocurrencies that are actually recovered almost fully and they're retesting. They're based just came back to the same trajectory they were on before and now we're seeing uh v-chains back up at the 23 cent right away and uh uh yeah we're seeing that you know definitely buys interest is still there although we just had a major move in the market to the downside uh so it's pretty optimistic the way things are playing out yeah and we had a crazy move at the downside look at this this was like a about a 39 nearly 40 percent move to the downside in the span of like two days a day, oh, yeah. a day and a half that is a pretty insane price action so um why don't we uh let me just begin by kind of describing some of these fit levels because there there's some lines on the screen here so let me just explain what these are and why these are relevant so this is a fibonacci retracement fibonacci retracements are usually used to try and uh guess uh, or predict where support could be if we start to downtrend this fibonacci retracement was drawn from the very macro bottom the very macro top and each one of these levels gives us some potential support levels if we start to break down. I've also drawn a Fibonacci extension from again macro uh, bottom to this top to this bottom. It's been pretty reactive. I think it's pretty valid. And so we also uh, have uh, a support level uh, right below us, kind of 19 cents. And uh, and here it's 17 cents as well with our different Fib levels. Uh, so do you want to talk about like, kind of like the pattern that's going on here? Yeah, no, I would say the biggest thing is, look, as soon as we dropped that big percentage, you can tell that there was a bunch of buyers that, you know, a bunch of people panic sold, but it's uh, um, uh, for other for other investors or buyers in general, they find an opportunity to buy VeChain at a sale. So even for looking at the um, four hour chart here, so if I just zoom in right away from the six to the uh, four hours to give a bit of a uh, better view on the price action look at this nice scandal we got over here as soon as we drop right we get, right away you can see that just the buyer's dominance driving the price from all the way from the uh, i guess this is the 19 cent all the way back up to somewhere close to the 23 cent so right now this is what we're stuck in you know we uptrended all the way back to the uh 27 28 cents retraced back we had nice um full support at this level over here now we're pushing back up now i'm possibly thinking that this could be a uh, another bull flag uh, that v chain is doing you know maybe in previous actions we had over here we pump up go sideways in a nice downward channel and then attempt to break above this channel to continue to move upwards so i think that's uh the main resistance we're looking at somewhere over here you know we're seeing those wicks are just driving the price down and then from the bottom side here buyers are coming in at a more um a less aggressive rate as time goes by and i wouldn't take this uh, fully into account into the technical analysis just because you know whatever just happened was uh not technical it's not a based on a breakout it's not based on some sort of level we reached to it was more like the whole market is panicking so overall i would think that soon enough here this is a bullish pattern we just need to see v chain actually break out of this uh, top resistance over here to see some sort of continuation to the to the higher levels yeah absolutely and you pointed out that kind of v chain likes to do this a lot we're forming kind of like this descending channel pattern after impulse so impulse descending channel pattern we break out bullishly impulse kind of descending channel pattern break out bullishly keep doing this over and over again and so you're right we're forming kind of this what could be a potential bull flag here also a bit of a wedge kind of from these wicks these three wicks these two wicks here in this uh candle body formation we get a support level here forming a wedge and also a bit of a descending triangle uh to our different support levels again like you said 19 cents uh, kind of uh, 17 cents here and uh in here about 15 7 cents as well so uh yeah folks we ultimately i think we just really need to wait for the breakout to see uh, what way V chain uh, moves moving forward? Uh, what way we break out of this thing? Um, ultimately, if I can just mention uh, one uh, moving average, one exponential moving average uh, for V chain that is extremely important. Uh, that is, let me just uh, confirm. But yeah, the 200 EMA on the six hour here. I wasn't sure if it was the two, uh, the four, or the six, but it's the six. 
the 200 EMA on the 6 has been historically an extremely important support level for VeChain. You can see here, 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 and here, and here, constantly acting as support every time uh, we broke down. So, if whenever you're watching this, whenever you're you know doing TA on VeChain, if you ever see the 200 EMA on the 6 hour uh, near price action, probably a good buy, at least uh, has been uh, historically here. So. Uh, do you want to uh, take a look here at our uh, indicators best that you know this I think there's some strength uh, building up here in the different time frames yeah no I think overall even if we're looking at maybe we can just start it off from the daily again just yeah, to yeah, paint 100%. a bit of a picture so if we're looking at the daily here it looks like you know overall um, our size is a bit of a neutral I think that's just that's a two hours <laughs> still again there we go yeah, there so we go. We'll go daily over here and we can just maybe sync those time frames Boom. And there we go. Perfect. So right now we're seeing that the uh, stoic, yeah, this makes more sense now. Very oversold. Stoichastic all the way to the top. RSI as well. Very oversold. Bot. MACD overbought. My <laughs> bad. And then MACD's all the way at the top as well. And now if you're going maybe slowly, you start going somewhere towards the let's say the eight hour over here. We're seeing that sometime here overall the RSI is still over um overbought. Stochastic wants to have a bit of a leg up, but as well, we're seeing some sort of a down tick on the MACD itself. However, once we start getting somewhere close, you know, to the four hour and all that, we'll see that the um, RSI is uh, is kind of heading to the neutral zone. Stochastic wants to also have another leg up and the MACD here, we're already in the negative. So it looks like overall from low, very high uh, time frames, we are overbought. Uh, we are expecting VeChain to maybe start um, downtrending again, right? Just to see that retest again, if this breakout doesn't hold. But on lower time frames, maybe if we go to the two hour, we'll see that, you know, we're trying to have the other leg up, which we just had, right? So which explains now, bigger time frames, we're expected to continue to go down. Lower time frames, mid time frames are actually trying to have a bit of a leg up, but we do expect that resistance to happen right now. So it's pretty critical the way things are playing out. You know, it's still extremely volatile, but um, we just need to keep an eye out how the day closes for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is actually now driving the market for sure. And um, uh, yeah, I think uh, if this level doesn't hold over here, then um, those indicators are telling that story that sometime soon here, we are expected to kind of go down. Yeah, no, 100%. You're right. You're right about Bitcoin. We need to follow Bitcoin. Uh, we also want to see this bullishness that we're kind of seeing in the lower hour release, the two hour, the four hour. We want to see that carry over to the larger time frame. So uh, one thing we can look at to try and kind of gauge if we're going to see uh, that bullishness carry over is like we can look at things such as uh, potential bullish divergence. We can see right here on the RSI, we're actually seeing bullish divergence on the two hour here. We can clearly uh, draw a trend line that was uh, pretty reactive on the R side uh, four times here. One, two, three, four times. We broke out bullishly. And so this entire downtrend was actually this entire downtrend of price action. So the fact that we broke above, if we continue to break above and start to make new higher highs and higher lows on the R side, uh, makes it more likely that we can see moves to the upside and makes it more likely that that bullish continuation carries over um to the other time frame so uh, for myself i kind of just want to see vchain maintain above uh that key level that you mentioned 19 cents and then aside from that uh this uh this this wick here at 17 cents if we can remain above those two levels uh i'm not too worried about vchain to be honest definitely and just to clarify you know this is just a technical analysis video, obviously, right? So we're just analyzing the price action. This doesn't mean that we are looking at a V chain from a more fundamental way, all the partnerships and all that. Overall, everyone knows that we're extremely um, bullish on V chain in the long term, but along the way, we like discussing the actual um, technical analysis side of things. So this is for all the, the guys that might come up in the comments and obviously, <laughs> you know, just uh, yeah. get a little triggered, I would say, but um, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're bullish right now. We just need maybe there's a bit of a leg down that might happen right now. So we'll just keep an eye out on Bitcoin is really affecting the way things are playing out. But keep an eye out on it. You know, make sure you join our Discord. Make sure you stay up to date on all these charts because uh, it's crazy how this market moves. Yeah, it's crazy. If things move quick, you know, if this breaks out, there's anything interesting we're definitely going to be talking about here. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified in the little because I got an email from YouTube, dude. You're not going to believe this. YouTube said, they actually said, this is 100% free. I'm not at all a joke. It's actually a financial crime to not stay up to date with this channel. So That's what they said. They literally said this is 100% wow. not a joke. 
uh, 100% for real. So if you don't want to be uh, thrown in YouTube jail, I'm afraid you have to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell icon notified of new uploads. Um, so I think that's pretty much <laughs> some of the most <laughs> important stuff. And dude, just to hover on this point for one second, uh, you're right, yo. We're both very, we love VeChain. We're both very bullish on VeChain long term. Folks, we're not, this video is not about fundamentals. We're just talking about technical analysis. And they and, came at me. They came at me. <laughs> I was scared. Yeah, look, you know, things can go up and down in the short term. It doesn't mean we don't like it long term. We both like VeChain long term. But, you know, it might go down in the short term. It doesn't mean we don't like it. Uh, I How hope could you say it's going to go down? I know, I know, I know. I honestly hope it goes down so we can buy more. If we go, if we go anywhere near that two hundred million six hour, I'm buying the shit out of this thing. There you go. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, that's uh, that's it for me. Got any final words? That's it. Thank you for watching. Like the video. Like it. Comment. Share. Subscribe. Take care, folks.